All right, so we've got a classy tune going, jazzy feel. We have Lee here. They kind of intertwine elegantly. I uh, can't believe I haven't made this video before. Uh, someone requested it in the comment section saying, uh, how come you haven't done, uh, as you're doing, a, it seems, a series on hard characters, how come you haven't talked about Lee yet? And uh, touche, yeah, I took that at heart. Uh, Lee is absolutely, I would say, the, the most difficult character in season one. In season two, he got a lot of buffs that really helped him. But in season one, you know, Gigas was worse tier wise. Gigas is probably the worst character, but I, I, I always saw Lee as worse because, while if you mastered Lee, he's absolutely a more powerful character than Gigas. Was it ever worth it? It's so much work playing Lee. Uh, and this can very easily be demonstrated even in Season 2. Let's do his uh, staple launcher. I'll go up for 4. And this is really what, um, you know, uh, tells the story of Lee. This little example I'm gonna give you here. I'm gonna do an easy mode combo. Uh, it could look something like this. Uh, and I dropped it. Welcome to Lee. I forgot, I'm recording for YouTube. I mean, I, I, am I... Do I still remember how to breathe? As soon as I hit that record button, I cannot do a, a combo of difficulty 1 out of 10. It's impossible. Uh, I wonder if I can tie my shoes. <laughs> like, I don't know, something happens. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is, this is an easy staple combo with Lee. It still involves some technical skill, and did you see the damage? It did 49. With 90% of a cast in Tekken 7, you can do super easy, basically just press a couple of buttons to do strings, and you get around 60, 65, 70 damage. You know, very, very easily. But with Lee, to get any form of decent damage, we immediately have to start doing these sorts of combos. Uh, you see, it, it's not enormous damage, 85. And that's extremely technical. And this is to unlock what? We have this extreme execution to unlock what? To unlock average damage or slightly above average damage. So the thing is with Lee, you need incredible execution to get efficiency that is the equivalent of any other character. So what I'm saying is to get staple damage with Lee, you have to work very, very hard. With most characters, they have staple combos and then they have high execution combos to do great damage. With Lee, to do staple damage, you need the high execution stuff. So there really is no easy mode with Lee. Um, and of course, he's very sensitive to lag. He relies a lot on back to cancel combos. And with lag, these are a nightmare to do. And they are a nightmare to do offline as well. You saw that. This back to cancel here, he relies on it for, for his great combos and for his incredible wall travel but again this back to cancel is uh, some of the hardest things to do to learn to do consistently in, in Tekken um, and again regarding this super hard to get even decent damage his while standing too free is his while standing uh, punisher if you don't uh, go for this you know or crouch cancel uh, into hop kick, you do while standing to free. You can follow that with forward forward free. But this is again like almost frame perfect. You see me landing it a lot now because I have incredible execution. <laughs> I just had to say that. But this is very, very hard to do. And again, it's to get not even a huge reward. 
This is super hard to do, in my opinion, to do consistently. And to get what? 54 damage. This is... This is... This is the thing with Lee that I'm trying to explain. To get even average rewards, you have to... It's a PhD in execution. You know, everything is so ridiculously hard. It's like when he got his buff for Season 2. People kept telling me, Oh, counter hit down 3 launches now. And I was like, amazing. And then I actually tried it and I was like, Of course. Of course, it's Lee. They couldn't allow him to have anything easy. So, of course, to get this combo, it's it's very difficult. You need quite a lot of timing to do that. It's difficult. With any other character, you just mash, and you have your combo. Oh, Jin, counter it down back four. Super easy to follow up. But, of course, it's Lee, so everything, every single little thing has to be super hard. And he just got the 10 frame uh, punish. Uh, acid uh, rain. Again. This is not easy. Again, I hit it every time because I am the god of execution. And when I say that... It's not me who said that, I'm just quoting Harada and Ni. They said that. <laughs> or I could be making it up, I don't know. But that was very impressive, yes, yes. Uh, so, and this is what I've done so far. Oh, let me tell you something else when it comes to execution. Uh, he has a couple of lows, like this. They don't hurt too much. If we want a chunky low, what do we have? Oh, we have a slide. And that's not easy to do. Quickly. Quickly and reliably, consistently, it's not easy to slide. But Lee really needs uh, you to be able to do that slide, because that's his chunky low. Uh, this is a great whiff punish. Uh, this is the final execution thing I'm gonna bring up. If you watch the best lead player in the world, I'm your father, you will see him with punish with, with back 112. Why? Because the range is great. But again, to get the good version that knocks down and wall splats, it's a semi just frame. You have to hit like a demo man. It's not as tight as the demo man, but it's pretty tight. So. Uh, on this first hit, you have to time one as soon as it connects. And on the second hit, you hit two when it connects. And Lee will shout, Raw! That's the normal version, you see? No wall splash. That's the... Oh shit. That's just frame. Uh, so again, this is me just showing you like the bare bones, basic execution stuff of Lee, the important stuff. And already I hope you've understood that it's difficult. And now we can talk a bit about his gameplay. Lee excels at keep out. If people are running towards Lee at all times and pressing buttons, he loves it. Back 4 is probably the best keep out counter hit tool in the game. It's just great. His magic 4 is also amazing. Same thing, you know, if they run in, the magic 4 catches them. You're eating a combo. Um, keep out is great. But, if people do not run towards you and push buttons at all times, well, you know, people who know how to play against Lee, they play defensively, you run in and you try and start the offense. It is difficult as fuck, you know. He has strong mids, but trying to get people to duck, you know, when this is all you have to threaten them with. You know, down free counter it is great, but if they're not pushing buttons, down free is launch punishable. It does little damage, only 17. And this is slow. This is when you start to slide. That demands execution. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that 
his pokes don't do a shitload of damage. He's a very chippy character. He chips opponents. Where other characters with their pokes can get decent damage, Lee gets quite low damage, you know. He really chips at the life bar. So that's why combats are hard with Lee. And it's so classic, you know, that when I play Lee, I always have a sense that my opponent lands three attacks and I'm at half life. And I land six attacks to get them to half life. So I would say his damage when it comes to the pokes is quite lackluster. So difficult, great defense, you know, and keep out. But if people know to not rush in, gameplay wise, it becomes very difficult with Lee. Uh. So, I hope you understand now why Lee uh, was seen as the most difficult character to me in Season 1. He's much more pow powerful in Season 2, but he still remains a very, very difficult character to play.